by Mark Friedlander, who is part of the Triple Eyes, and I will let you explain that again. The Insurance Information Institute is a nonprofit research, education, and communications organization, and our focus is providing consumers with information about insurance. Well, let's get into that insurance talk because you and I, we connect around hurricane season and we've already talked about how to prepare for hurricanes, but on the off chance one comes through. Well, actually another way to prepare is like uh, doing things like take pictures of your home and that kind of thing. So from an insurance standpoint, what can people do to get prepared, especially in this current state we're in where we're all quarantined? So important to be prepared before any storm strikes. And that's why we tell people, create a home inventory. Take pictures, a video of all your possessions so you have a record of everything in your house. And if you have to file a claim after a storm, you're already many steps ahead of the game and it'll make your process for filing that claim and running through the entire process of getting reimbursed for your losses much easier for you and your family. Why is that so important to take those pictures? Is it for my purposes? Is it for insurance? I mean, so, I mean, I could go through and not take pictures and this is what I got, but why is it important to have those pictures? Well, if you have a catastrophic loss in your home, you've lost all your furniture, all your clothing, all your electronics, all your other possessions in the house, you want to have a record of that. You want to make sure you get fully reimbursed for all of those possessions. That's why it's so important to have a documented record. You know, once again, either photos or video is the best way to do that. Well, let's just say I want to kind of do some stuff to prepare my home, whether I'm staying or going. Are there some uh, tips you can give me to make my house more uh, storm resilient? Well, one thing that I always recommends is have your roof inspected annually by a reputable bonded and licensed roof contractor. You can get that information through your county, through the county you live in. They'll provide you with vendors that have those credentials to make sure your roof could withstand the strong winds and the torrential rains of tropical systems. That's really important because so much damage could occur in the home if the roof is not stable. So little home check, I got that. But do we need to like check up on our insurance policies. I mean, for flood insurance or just to find out what we're covered, that kind of thing. The I always recommends you have an annual insurance checkup with your insurance professional. Walk through all your policies, make sure you understand your coverages and make sure you have enough protection if you do suffer a catastrophic loss. Not only do you need to replace perhaps your entire structure of your home, but all the possessions inside. So you need to have coverage for all of that. And then we talk about flood insurance. Flood insurance is a separate policy from your homeowners or your renters or your business owners policies. So you need to purchase that separately. And what we see is 90% of all natural disasters have a significant amount of flooding. So there's a good chance there could be flood damage in your home in your business or even in your apartment. So you need to talk to your insurance professional about that as well and see if you could add that coverage. Because for example, if you buy a national flood insurance program policy, it takes 30 days to take effect. So you can't wait until the last minute for the storm to come. The storm's coming on Friday. You can't buy it on Monday. That's just not gonna work. So you need to plan ahead of the game. And before the season begins, before the storms, start to form out in the ocean, you need to have your coverage well, well handled. So my insurance isn't all together. There are different pieces. Like this is the stuff I did not know. So you have to make sure, oh, I've got homeowners, but just because you have that, you may not be covered in other areas. Right. And then the other thing to remember is you need to look at your auto policy as well, because there's an optional coverage on auto insurance called comprehensive auto, and that covers all non-collision damage. Say a tree falls in your house, or if your car is swept away in a flood or just floods out sitting on the street in front of your house or in your driveway, that's covered by comprehensive auto. So once again, completely separate from your residential or building structure coverages. Mark, with all of this preparedness, there's actually something coming out that to kind of incentivize people to be a little bit more prepared when it comes to hurricanes. 
Every year, RANS Florida initiates a sales tax holiday for purchasing hurricane supplies. And this year it runs May 29th through June 4th. And that's a great time to go out buy all your supplies. Hundreds of items will be available tax-free and take advantage because that will save you some money. And it's just the perfect time to stock up on everything you'll need for this hurricane season. Consider my mind blown. <laughs> all right. All right, Mark. So this is all great information to have. If people kind of want to tap in to see what other stuff there is, where can they find that information online with you? Well, the IIII has great guidance on all of this at iii.org. We have pages and pages of information about specific insurance coverages, what steps you could take. And we even have a guide to your annual insurance checkup, what you need to go through with your insurance professional once a year is what we spoke about previously. Well, Mark, thank you very much for uh, connecting with me. And uh, this definitely resonates with me. And I think it will resonate with a lot of our River City Live viewers. So thanks for spending some time with us today. Always great to be here, Rance. And as always, I tell everybody in the audience, please stay safe. Hey everyone, as we approach the afternoon hours, we're going to see